Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Gospel Reflection for this Wednesday in the first week of our Lenten journey. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel this morning comes from Luke chapter 11, verses 29 to 32. The crowds got even bigger, and Jesus addressed them. This is a wicked generation. It is asking for a sign. The only sign it will be given is the sign of Jonah. For just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. On Judgment Day, the Queen of the South will rise up with the men of this generation and condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. On Judgment Day, the men of Nineveh will stand up with this generation and condemn it, because when Jonah preached, they repented, and there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord. The theme of today's Gospel is that Jesus will be a sign just like Jonah. At times, we know that the Pharisees ask for a sign from heaven to test Jesus, and he refuses. They do this because at the time of Jesus, a number of charismatic Galilean rabbis who did work such signs existed. One example was the rabbi Honi, who was known as the Rainmaker. And this rabbi, he was known for his warm relationship with God and for the answers to his prayers. And so was people asked him to pray for rain and the prayers were answered. In the present passage, however, using his mysterious preferred title, Son of Man, he offers the sign of the prophet Jonah. Jonah's mission to Nineveh was the stock case of conversion. The wicked Gentile city immediately converts and does penance. And so Jesus is saying that the Ninevites are the example for Israel and the Pharisees to do the same. Then there is the mention of Solomon, who was the figure of wisdom, and the Gentile queen of the south, who came from the ends of the earth because she recognised this God-given wisdom of Solomon. Now something greater than either Jonah or Solomon is present, and the Pharisees and Israel refuse to listen and convert. Today's Gospel lesson, Lent is a time to listen and repent. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me for our Gospel Reflection today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And until then, take care and God bless. Thanks, everyone. Mm -hmm.